Hello everyone and welcome to a new Flux tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how to use the collaboration features in Flux. There are several different reasons you might need to use the collaboration features. Sometimes you're collaborating with another electrical engineer, you might be collaborating with a manufacturer, you might be collaborating with a mechanical engineer. No matter what the case may be, there are some important collaboration features that you can take advantage of. Now you can do this during design time, but also during a design review when you're finalizing a project and getting it ready for production. So I'm going to show you some strategies for using these features and also where to access them in Flux. Make sure to follow along. So in a previous video on PCB design reviews, we were looking at this project that I currently have pulled up on the screen. So this project is uh, just a simple project that uses a integrated circuit with a pin header and then you can see that I have some ports here so this is intended to be used as a sub layout within another project. In this case the type of project really isn't important what's more important here is the type of collaboration that you can do within this type of project. So in the previous video on design reviews we were looking at different ways that you can call out design issues and you don't have to just use the uh, the collaboration features uh, for design reviews, you can actually use them during design time. So there are several different forms of collaboration. There is, of course, electrical engineer plus electrical engineer. Sometimes electrical engineers need to work with mechanical engineers. And then sometimes uh, you have folks who are working on simulations alongside an actual electrical design. So within the schematic, this is going to be the first place where you start doing some of your collaboration. And inside the schematic, um, you can access a feature called commenting. Commenting is a great way to place uh, some information or request changes for certain users who have access to this project. And you notice here I just right clicked and I'm able to put a comment kind of wherever. But of course I could also drag this comment right over here to this individual uh, connection here on R1. I can leave it on R1, I can put it on this integrated circuit, um, I can kind of put it wherever I want. The types of comments that you can leave, um, really it could be anything, um, but just as an example I could, you know, put a comment here and tell someone where this needs to be placed in the PCB layout. So just for example, place on left side of board. This is just one type of comment that you can leave. And when comments are left in the schematic, you'll see that they show up as this little pin here, and it has a number on it. Um, here, there's also a uh, bar you can open up that lists all the comments currently on the project. So who placed them, and then of course I can click on this, and then you see it comes up right here. And you know I can leave a like on it. I can of course here delete it. I can resolve it. Um, I can do whatever I need to do to manage this, um, but this is one of the important collaboration features that lets anyone inside of a project uh, leave comments for their team members. Now, once you get into the PCB layout, what do you see? Well, we don't see any comments in here. The comments that are placed in the, into the schematic stay in the schematic. So if I then go over here to the PCB layout, and let's say I want to leave a comment on this pin header. I just do the same thing. Right click somewhere, click insert comment, and then I can drag this around into the PCB layout if I want, or I can kind of leave it off, uh, leave it off the board. But here I could put a comment. So just for example, uh, let's say move J1 to the right by uh, 0 0.5 millimeters, let's just say just as an example. And then you see here it appears here down in the comments window. So these comment windows and all leaving these comments in various design documents is are pretty important. Um, this is just a way for multiple users to leave each other notes and request changes on a design, um, whether it's in the middle of a design or whether it's at the end of the design as part of a review and preparing it for manufacturing. So when we have a bunch of comments on here and we want to invite people into the project to help us work on it, or we just want to open this project up for review, what can we do? What's the quickest way to share this? Well, of course, you should see up here in the upper right, we have a share button. So if I click the share button, 
I can have a link that I can uh, copy and give to other people and uh, they can then access this. And what you can do is you can um, uh, set some permissions here. So anyone can view, anyone can comment, anyone can edit. And all they have to do is access your project through the link. You can also place an embed. So if you have your own website, uh, you can then embed this. So anywhere that an iframe embed is accepted, you can paste this and it will embed your project. The other thing you can do is here on the advanced area, what you can do is once you add people, uh, you can then uh, manage their uh, access level here in this area. So um, here, just for anyone, I have it set to none, but what I can do is add in usernames of other Flux users, and then I can give them specific access privileges and add them into this list. So that's a pretty nice way to control access, control what people can do, and control uh, who can get access and where this can get posted as well. So you've got a lot of control here in this window. Now, you can get your manufacturer involved in the design. It's not typical to do this, but you can give them access to your uh, design uh, using the standard sharing features in the Flux platform. So this would be done using the share button in the top right corner of the screen. And as long as they have a Flux user ID, um, they don't need to be a paying user, but as long as they have that user ID, they can get access to the project. You can also just go up to the main menu and then export the Gerbers and the Bill of Materials and the other uh, deliverables directly, and then you can send that to your manufacturer so they can do a full DFM review. Now, so far, I've talked quite a bit about uh, collaboration in the schematic between front-end engineers and then collaboration in the PCB layout between layout engineers. But of course, there are other things that you can do in Flux that also might require some collaboration. So just for example, if we go back to the schematic, um, there is a simulator built into this schematic. And of course, there is some code that accompanies that simulation. And you can actually uh, use the commenting features in the code to actually put call out uh, changes in code or to place any other comments that you want that are related to the code that you're working on. Um, you could also place them as an actual comment here in the schematic if you wanted to. You'll also notice here that every project has some assets assigned to it. Um, these include uh, things like, of course, the thumbnail. Um, it includes a symbol that will appear in another project if this is used as a sub layout. Um, here, we also have a 3D model. And this is where uh, your mechanical engineer collaborator may have to come into play. So 3D models are where your mechanical engineer is going to live. They may give you an enclosure model. They may give you component models, all of that. That's the kind of thing they can actually come into the project and do edits on the project and add in all of that on their own. Also, the way that Flux works is you can actually divide up portions of a project into sub layouts and everybody can work on their own sub layout and then bring that back into a master project and link all of them together into a completed circuit board. So that's a great way to divide and conquer in some of your more complex projects. All right, thanks everybody for watching. This has a, been a brief overview of all the collaboration features that are built into Flux. And remember, Flux is built online to make it very easy for you and your team to come in and start building things quickly. And of course, take it off to manufacturing. Thanks again for watching everybody.